Hi. Oh, wow. I was going to say, uh, this is Nana. Welcome to my channel, Nana's in Craft Corner. And hello, Bill. Wow, you're right on the money. You're pretty fast. Oh, I got my pencil. Um, I started some of these signs offline because I want to get them done. But uh, nice to see you. Oh, wow. You guys found me that fast. Is it because I left the... Um, Hi there, funny man. Is it because I left, I did the, the comment there to say I'm going live? Is that how you know? And what's going up with you two? Tomorrow I'll be on at 3 p.m., so a lot earlier than this, but I wanted to work on my signs. No, we just missed you. Let's do. Well, anyways, we can chat, but I'm going to continue work painting my sign. I, oh, actually, I might do this one, too. I, well, I have a couple things i got to work on signs. We have made 1K in our birds. Wow. Oh, aren't you lucky? Okay. So, Bill, what you been up to? Oh, I might. This brush gets too fat. I might need paper towel. Hey, Mish. Hello. Good evening. Here we may. Okay, cool. All right. So, Mish, I'm excited about tomorrow. I got the chips. I got both. So, I got milk chocolate and semi-sweet chocolate for tomorrow. Feels weird tonight. There's a big thunderstorm going on in our area, like really loud. So it might even lose power. That's how strong it is tonight. Oh, you are? Well, no, I gotta know how to make them all. What are you what are you making? I'm supposed to make the same as you. Yeah, I wanted to let you know I want to be making one different than you. What are you making different than me? I, I was well, I'm not gonna do it now, it's too late, but I wanted to do the same thing as you. I'm supposed to be watching and doing it together with you. Well, I know it, I know them from here from years of talking to them on YouTube. Okay, but okay, I can help you make the the ones you make, but I oh okay. Well no, I'll watch you make the peach pie. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. You're gonna help me make all the pies. Um, and then you make a peach pie. I'm good with that because I can watch you do that one. Okay. That's that sounds fair and good. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Oh, welcome back, Bill. Okay. And and you and you do the peach pie. I think I never taste peach pie. 
Oh, I'm sure it's delicious peach pie. I have peaches growing, so I'd like to see that too. Anyways, I want to see what you do with the peaches. Because I have a whole back tree full of peaches. They're not ready yet, but uh, they're getting there. Oh, nice. That sounds awesome. And what did you, uh, is peaches, oh, they're, they're sweet. You never had peaches before? Peaches, well, they can be a little bit sour, it depends, but mostly they have a really nice sweet taste. Peaches are really awesome to have, really very good. No, you never had them? Um, I like new potato. Oh yeah. Yeah. A lot of good stuff like that at the market. Nope. Can't say I have that either. No, I never had, um, apricot or nectarine pie. No. Oh, we're talking about for a new man. Okay. We're talking about uh, peaches are better than apricots and nectarines. I think they, they have their own distinct taste, but, um, I don't know. Pe I don't call peaches sour. Not really. Are they sour? Yeah, I agree better. Yeah, I agree better. They're better than, um, a bit tart. I guess. I don't know. I, I find peaches nice. Like, but you, I mean, I do. I think they're sweeter than most things you get, especially oranges or nectarines. All pomegranates are nice too. Yeah. Weird approach, but I like it. Pomegranate? No, the pomegranates are very healthy for you. They're one of the highest. Um, what's the word I want to use? They're antioxidants. It's one of the really high antioxidants is uh, pomegranate. Uh, both my parents are from Iran, so we eat all a lot because that's a tradition. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I, I don't think I've ever eaten hummus. The insides are so small. All that they take, there's a lot of seeds. I love the taste of bomberas. It's one of my favorite fruits. Um, and I, but you know, you're eating seeds when you eat a fresh one, a lot of seed, but I like it. I love pomegranates. Like, I like the, the sweetness and the distinct taste. and I, and chewing the seeds, I really like it. Most things I don't like the seeds of, but I love that. I like taking it open and eating the seeds. Yeah, I forget. And they show even techniques of how to get the seeds off of the spoon. Like you whack the back of it. And I think you can put it, you put it in water. It makes less of a mess if you put it in water to clean it out. Yeah, I, I like pomegranate, I but I, I've never really made any pie or any. I don't know if they could make pie with it. I'm assuming you could do other things with it. Some kind of dessert with it would be good. I like to you, that one. You can sink your teeth into it, but it's seeds. I don't know. I like the taste of um, the seeds. It's not for everybody, but I, I enjoy it. Oh, they look like rupees. Yeah.
trying to stay in the lines. I don't have the best paintbrush here. But I don't. If you're where talk to me, I was on the phone with my mother. She said, oh, yeah, that's right. And she has quite a sense of humor, your mother. Well, we all say hi to her. She's doing okay. Hip surgery or something she had, but she was, has a good sense of humor, he says. Oh, she's having a hard time with it, yeah. Yeah, it, that surgery is really hard. Knee surgery, hip surgery, all of that is really, really hard. Most people have such, it, it's terrible. Poor thing. They're giving her a blood transfusion now because of the blood she lost. Wow. I'm going to work out with my doctor. Oh, okay. Yes, God bless. Yeah. We hope your mom gets better. She had a good sense of humor. Or she has a good sense of humor, your mom. Poor mom. All right, this is getting on my nerves because it's not. Let's see what I put a little here. I don't like my paint starting to dry out too much. Just a little. Oop, I'm making a mess. Well, which one? The one I ate? <laughs> I got a new one, Bill. I have the baby of the baby. I have the, uh, it had two babies. So I have another baby rooting that I ate. Yeah, I ate it. And then, um, then I have another, just as I noticed that one ready to eat, I shared it with my mom and my daughter, actually. I brought it to my daughter's house and we all ate it together. I, and then that day, I was like, oh, my God, my second baby's having a baby. So the um, original mother had two babies, like I've said all along. And that the, the first baby is having a baby now. So now when I have that pineapple, that'll be like third generation pineapple, which is cool to me. So it's it's, it's very cool to have to. No, I'm getting another baby again from the original baby. And I have the, the second baby rooting in water right now. Uh-oh, you hit the wrong button to put you in the ads. Having a bad day today, I think. Oh, well, you got a lot on your, your mind and you got your mom too. So I get it. I'm excited. I'm all getting ready for Misha, though. I got. I don't have all my stuff cut up and everything or measured. I will do that tomorrow, though. But I got everything I need. And uh, oh, I could show you Misha my crust. I I can't tell you I had fun doing it, but uh, I did it and I got my pie crust done. I did them today, and the. Graham crackers is easier to make a pie crust out of graham crackers. The Oreo part is a little harder, I find. Like, not hard, really. None of it was hard, but um, I would say awkward, maybe. Oh, there we go.
you know, I got them done. Um, I did them actually this morning and put them in the fridge. So they look okay. They're not bad, I guess. Um, I think the recipe, I feel like sometimes the recipe didn't give you enough so that it's a uh, enough, but I added a little bit more to make them a little thicker. Um, what do I want to do now? I got to rinse this brush out for now. Well, you should have seen the uh, ruffled grows I was taking picture of today. He was just like a dog. He was was following us. Oh, that died. It didn't do very good at all. It didn't do good at all, my hyssop plant. I have to try. I'll try it again, but um, it grew very slow and then it died. So that's the hyssop. I want to do it again. I want to have that, but I wasn't very lucky with it. Yeah, I, I'll try it again, maybe, maybe next year, or whatever. We'll see if I get this. But well, I wasn't happy to help him grow at all. It took forever. It's not like licorice. I was going to make tea and send tea out, but if I couldn't get it surviving. Right there, I just want to wash my hands a little bit. Way to word it, but oh, what did he got? How's your nuts? <laughs> How's your first of all, Bill? Um, I don't have any growing now because I, I did it last year, I didn't grow any this year. My peanuts, and I did get some peanuts, but I, when you do it in container, it needs more ground space to have more. It's kind of like a potato, yeah, you gotta kind of almost put it in the ground to get more space, but um. No, I never did it. I did it once, and it's not top on my list to grow because you can buy peanuts pretty cheap. I just knew I wanted to try it. Did I grow it? Yep. I'll show you this, though, Bill. This is like the, the pineapple plant. I'll, I'm going to bring that here for you. Um, I just want to clean this off here. And then the new baby ones coming like this. I'll show you. So this would be the third generation when I get this pineapple, the third generation here. You see it? Right here. That's the third generation. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Keep, I'm going to keep growing. I'm going to grow them and see. I'll see that mama plant is in my bedroom, and I replant potted her. So we're going to see... If um, the mama gives me another baby, we'll see. I'm keeping the mother around. Like I said, she's got a new pot. I fixed her up nice. And we'll see. And then the second baby is in water rooting. Which I can show you that one. The thing is, I learned a lesson of being careful of how to kill it off. All you got to do is add water to that crown right at the top. And it rots the, the, the uh, thing out. So I'm really cautious on this one because it's a baby. Here, this is the second baby, and um, there's the second baby right here. That was the, the, the plant I just ate not that long ago, and I am just going here with the water. I watered by accident, like I put water inside of here, inside of here, and it rotted the whole plant. So you got to be very careful. You got to be really careful when you're trying to root this. Don't ever put anything down in the in the center. Don't ever put anything down here at all, ever. Keep it down here, and that's the trick here. Because if you don't, it was the first plant I rotted out, and I 
I know why. I, I kind of one time I got lazy and I poured water in the center of the plant and it didn't dry out and it just stayed wet. I got to try that again. Well, you're going to do it. Try. You're going to do it. Cause trust me, Bill, if you think everything works out for me for the first time, I don't. I keep trying and trying and I find out what's the matter with it and it works. I've lost a lot of things that I've done more than once to get that figured out. Well, I got a new little plant. I'll show you this thing. It's called a um, Severia, a Severia braid. Want to see? A Severia braid. It's kind of a, it's a succulent, but there it is. A Severia blade. I, I'm gonna uh, repot it pretty soon. But that's my new plant. I give up. No, I don't give up. You didn't root it. You didn't root one yet. Yeah, it's interesting, eh? What did you go? Oh, Nana, uh, Nana, my Nan always told me if I at first you don't succeed, try and try again. And when you think you can't do it, the more. Uh, do it again. I'm telling you, I do that. That's not a lie, what I'm telling you. You give up, and, and you don't need to give up because you just have to figure out what exactly went wrong. I, I don't. I'll, I'll give you examples this year. I told you how troubled I am with the sunflower seeds. The sunflower seeds are getting on my nerves. And so what did I do? Well, I showed you, I think, yesterday. Here it is. Look at you go my 100 packs of sunflower seeds, and there they are. You have to tune indoors and then bring them out later. That's what I learned for me. There it is. Look at how big and look how they're doing. You see that? Um. So I, this is like, I'm telling you, my fourth time to work with sunflowers because the birds kept eating them. The squirrels were eating them. And maybe I'll get the fire portion out of it. The what? The fire portion. Then I got secrets in her garden. Nothing would to amaze me with it. What? What, I got secrets in my garden. Nana's got secrets in her garden. Nothing would seem. Huh? Potion. Oh, I got a potion. Oh, I showed it. What? Oh, I want to show you something else I did. Bear with this. These things come up really um, like tomatoes, okay? They came up all crooked, uh, leggy, it's called. And what I did, I don't see if I got a leggy. I don't have any leggy ones right now because I fixed them. What I was, I took them out, put a hole and put them back in way deep like a tomato plant. And as you can see, they're doing pretty good. They don't look too leggy now. Yes, a whole bunch of sunflowers. It's a hundred seeds. I got even little ones coming up. There's one here, two, three. I lost track. There's a whole bunch. There's one back here. There's another one over here. Uh, be back. In, okay, no problem. No problem. I'm going to put that down. I got to go back to work finishing my crafts, but I just want to show you that. All right. So I have, I got a big one outside from my neighbor we took so it didn't die. I got, I got other ones in a pot. I got another set I was growing indoors in a pot. I got all these. So you know that one try and try? Well, that's what I did. I tried and tried and tried until I have, I'll probably have a zillion sunflowers this year. That's what I do. Oh, I made this sign up. I got to see what, there it is. That's my, uh, save the bees. It still stinks because I stained it, block stain. You can see little bees. I want to mosh podge this, this and then I'm going to spray seal it after.
You love the little bees? See, I don't, but you know what? That's, you shouldn't, you shouldn't stop at saying you can't do it. I agree with you hundred percent, Bill. I don't stop at something when something bugs me, by the way, Bill, uh, cross your fingers that I finally found a monarch egg. I'm not sure if it is exactly it, but I found one finally today. Um, and I'm hoping it's it and I'm trying to save its life. I'm going to call it my name. Because it's gonna be my namesake. This one, if I it, it is a, a an egg and it um, goes, I'm hoping that it's an egg. It looks very much like an egg. Yeah. Well, I was devastated that there there's none here. I've been waiting and waiting, and we're in July now, so it's kind of a little bit scary. I'm not having any. I put another coat on here, and then I'm gonna spray coat it up the whole thing. Both sides. I'm just going to mosh pause this part because I'm trying to protect the little bees. All right. I got that done and I'm going to do I'm gonna rinse this one out. I don't know. I, I If if it wants to. Well, I'm going to show you what you think. Do you remember how often I showed you the eggs of it? My eyesight is kind of funky, so I had a hard time with it. But do you remember what it looks like, Bill? Okay, so let me show you what I found. See if you think it's the same. It's, it's still new because it turned brown after, or black, or black. I'll show you what I got. Okay, so I got this one. Trying to take care, you got it. Well, not with the disaster, then it will survive a little too, a little bit. Well, we hope it survives. I raise monarchs there, funny man. I have this is my fifth year. I looked at my book, my fifth year doing it, and um, I was just worried because of the depopulation of it. So I saw this, and you don't want any of the inside insects in here because it'll kill it, you'll eat the egg. But let me show you what I got. All right, I'm gonna be careful. Come on, baby. Come on. You see? I don't know if that might not be it, but it looks like it is right here. Right? What do you think? Yeah. Let's see, um, the nails are gross because of the gardening, but where's the camera? Yeah, it's a egg of some sort. Well, that's normally what it looks like. It's very close to what it looks like. And they do put it on the milkweed flowers like that. That's like, there was a lot of eggs found like that way. So, I'm hoping I got my little thing. This is my little namesake. I'm naming it after me. So if that starts to turn brown, and I'll know it's an egg because it'll it's green right now, yellowy, kind of yellowy green, and then it'll start turning brown when I know it. I rinsed all this. It had aphids on the the food, so I rinsed all the aphids, uh, and then I put it in a container. I open it up every so often. Oh no, probably got the bunches. Look at my fingernails. Oh, that's so, they're so gross because of gardening. Oh well. Okay, so I'm gonna put that away. And I labeled it and date it like I always do. And we'll cross my fingers that I end up with a little butterfly.
All right. So funny man, we're gonna decorate. I'm gonna decorate this right now. All right. Um yeah, this is the first one. I'm gonna decorate this as we chat. Because I'm gonna put this up. You saw the ladybug, right? Funny man, you saw my ladybug tower. Do you have ladybugs in Sweden? Oh, sometimes you get a hard time in school. You get a hard time with kids in school. Yeah, I wish you didn't because that happens a lot, and i so against that. Uh, I always wanted to be English. Um, is this the right size? I think it is. You want to be from a different country? Then what's the matter? Sweet, are you originally from Iran or something? You said. Well, not necessarily, buddy. There's issues here. There's issues in every school in every country. Uh, not No country is perfect. And kids can be bullies no matter what country you're from. That happens a lot all over. Well, I'm from a non-existent country that wants to be one. Well, welcome back, Bill. In this non existent country, is called Kurdistan, part of Iraq. So my mother and father were born in in left side of Kurdistan. But you moved to Sweden when you're young, when you're still young, I take it, because you're not that old. So you moved when you were young to Sweden, probably safer there maybe. The new funny man, make the best of what you have. Ken is not up to be, uh, to be, is this in the States? Oh, the, the mother and father have some bad relationships and just to be safe with me. Well, it's a, a wise parent that does that. You protect your kids. Yeah. That's a good parents you have. If you leave to go to another country to protect your kids, then I consider that's very good parenting. And uh, yes, sorry to hear that too. It's not always good. But we, I love where we are. But I guess I'm just saying we all have issues no matter where we're from. That's all. But we're, you know, Bill, we're pretty lucky. For when, when things go on all over the world, what's going on, uh, I consider us very lucky living here. And most people from different countries that come here are kind of happy. They almost respect Canada better than some Canadians do. And I consider we're very lucky. Let's, oh, I've got too much glue here, but it's going to go clear. There is the B sign. 
I love my lilies. I like Hannah. Don't like some things about it, let's say, with oh, getting to. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. That's what I was saying yesterday. You guys are like, well, we're happy. We are, we have, like, we're saying we, there's issues here too, but uh, all in all, it's a lot safer than lots of other countries for sure. I want that dry a bit, and then I got a mosh podge. I already did the back too. See, so it says uh, Ladybug Hotel, no vacancy, and this one says Ladybug Hotel vacancy. And I want it vintage looking. That's why it's the rough looking, the way the lettering is, because I wanted it that way. Oh, banana, that's being said, it's getting worse here in Newfoundland lately. Murders almost every other day. Well, that's sad to hear that, Bill. That's uh, horrible to hear that. That's just crazy people. and You know, it's insane. Yeah, it's sad, Bill. But you know what? You're a good person. There's lots still out there that are good people. And, yeah, almost have to hang around with who's... The good people, you know, I consider my neighborhood's pretty good. The people on it's pretty good for most part. And, you know, my family's pretty good. So I'm staying with what makes me happy and the people that I feel safe with. That's who I'm with. Because there's a lot of crazy people out there for sure. But there are some really good people too. Almost there. I might do another. Just wait and do another one of that. I, I want to do one here, but this is gonna just a little dry. We'll give it a little bit of time. Oh, that's still sliding. That's not ready. All right, and then I gotta decorate the back of that one. But I think I'll come do another coat of Mosh Podge, and then I'll spray it tomorrow. And I don't know if I'm gonna put it on a stick or I'm gonna drill two holes in here to put it up tomorrow. All right. That's a little too much. So what did you guys do today? What were you doing today? We went in the woods to film. Oh, cool. I'm thinking about Mike because Mike's back was hurt. So hopefully, um, I haven't seen him in a couple of days. Well, I haven't talked to him for the last time we were on here. I hope I hope he comes and visits us when I'm on. See how he's doing. Got groceries, yeah. You know, we had severe, we're still having it off and on all day, severe thunderstorms. I'm worried about the power going out because that's what happens every time there's a storms here. We lose power, so that's what I was, but I never, I st hung around in my gardening, do you? I hung around in my gardening, I, even in the rain, it was pouring rain, I put my raincoat on and I just went to weed and move plants around. Yeah, my dog handles it pretty good, actually. Surprising, she does, but she handles it very good. That's pretty good. That's it. I'm going to spray it tomorrow if it's not raining. And uh, yeah, weeds, pulling weeds. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work doing a garden, but I love it. I like doing a garden, but it is a lot of work. Every day I get up, it's like a job. Every day I'm up when I get up and then I go spend a few hours out there. Probably on the average two to three hours I'm outside working around the whole yard. Oh, welcome back. Oh, no problem. So, because we, we were just talking about, uh, 
Well, that's not what I meant for sure. Wait a minute. My dogs hate it. Oh, weed. <laughs> Talking about weed. Now I get it. Weed. No, we don't talk about that stuff. Not that kind of weed. Look at 14 years old about weed already. That is like scary to me. Um, weeds, you know, those ugly things with plants and, and amongst plants and you got to pull that crap out. So Misha got to go for a walk pretty soon, she says. Yeah, I know. I don't like it, though. It's a shame that that happens, that they learn all the bad words and all that drugs and all kinds of stuff at such a young age, you guys. It's, it's not good. I want kids to have a life. Like, I want them to enjoy their their childhood, never mind growing up right away. Sad. Oh, try to dodge all the fireworks. Oh, the poor, my poor dog. Daisy, remember how she came over yesterday, last night, to avoid fireworks? Because she gets so worked up, she's going to have like a heart attack over it. And uh, I was worried about her because we had fireworks here. He goes, smart man. Oh, don't worry, Bill. I just want to go. You want to go to the Harvard in the States when you get older. Very cool. That's a hard school to get into. You better be pretty clever. All right, let that be. I have to flip it into the other side. Yeah, I'm pretty bad at s Swedish and workouts and math, everything else I'm good at. So you're pretty bad at Swedish? Like speaking Swedish? And workouts. Are we talking about exercise? You're bad at speaking Swedish where you're from Sweden. Sweden, and you don't like to exercise. Yeah, well, not everybody. I was never a kid that I had asthma that I didn't know until way later in life, but I wasn't a runner. I didn't like any athlete, athletic stuff. I was never into it. I had to do it for school and everything, but I was not that kind of person. I liked other things and athletics, which all the power to you. If you like it and you're good at it, good. That's good, but there's nothing wrong with using your brain and not necessarily having to be top uh, athletics, you know. I got to put some on my uh, ladybug. All right, let's do that next. Yeah, I'll move this to the side. I don't have to work on this anymore. Let me get my uh, big sign off the table and let it dry. Get some more and then I got this little one. This side, because so I got to work on the back. All right. Um, I just learned that learning Polish and Poland is harder at everything else at school. Like learning Polish is good hard. I was never into regular sports when I was young. I played paintball, rode motocross. I didn't have time to chase a ball. Yeah, I hear you. This is my bugs. I was working on to finish it. There, I gotta. I'm gonna just uh, polish it up a little bit. 
Marsh parts the bugs so they don't they get protected. You too. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, you too, Mish. Have a good walk. Like in Poland, the hardest thing to learn is their own language. Okay. I'm going to put this on just the spots. I, I was afraid of, I don't want to spray this too much because of, it actually is for insects. And I don't know, I don't want to, the smell to scare them off here. Wait, can I second? The new funny man tried coming to Newfoundland. You want want to get confused about languages? Nah, I can second that. That's funny. That not languages. That's to me. That's it's an accent. That's different. But they have a different accent, and they're part of Canada. But they're probably there's French Canadian, and then you got from Newfoundland has another accent too. But not language. I wouldn't say you have a language, do you? I don't, I don't think it's a, a different language. That's my feelings on that. No, actually, I'm French-Canadian. I know how to speak French, but I'm not fluent at it. So can, you don't have to be French-Canadian just to be from Quebec. You can be French-Canadian anywhere in Canada. Um, I don't know if you knew that. You know, it, Quebec is f more fluent in French, but we're, we're French all over the place. A lot of us Canadians, I can speak French too, but I'm not fluent in it. I used to be when I was younger, but I don't talk all the time about it. Oh, yeah, I could believe that slang and phrases. Probably that's probably true. That makes sense. All right, I'm sealing all this. So. I don't want the colors of the little things to fade. The new find there are more French people in, I think, yeah. Oh yeah. There's a lot of French Canadians all over the place in every province here. I don't know about more in New Brunswick, but yeah, there is there, but actually they're called um there's I don't want to confuse people, but that is their slang for their uh, Arcadians or something. Arcadian. Um, well, if you're French speaking and they came from a certain area, they came from France originally and went to uh, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia in that area. And uh, what's there's C Canadian Arcadian. I think Canadians are Arcadians and there's, and the States have the same people that came and they're, they're different. They call that, um, Oh, I know it's right there. On New Orleans are from originally from France that went there, and they're called something too. Um, uh, well, well, you learn something every day. Yeah, I know about the whole history of Canada. You know about the whole history of Canada? I probably don't know about the whole history of Canada. All right, let's that dry. So there's my, that is the bug hotel, which that's why I'm doing the sign for that. I think it's turning out pretty cute. I may put another cord on the bugs to protect them. All right, I'm gonna rinse this off. Yeah, I might as well let you admire my little, there's my little house. Can you see it all? Well, you can't even see it all, really. It's too tall.
I gotta do all my dishes and clean up to cook tomorrow. In my kitchen, I need to clean up my kitchen. My kitchen's a mess. Messy mess. Oh. Nana, who knit ya? What? Nana, who, who knit ya? What? 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 Bill, what do you mean by Nana, who knit ya? Nicked me or my. Oh, wait a minute. You see that Snoofy. Oh. Nana, who knit, knit ya? All right, you're doing some newfie means who's your parents? Really? No, I've never heard of that. Who knit ya? Uh, started expanding more than Canada after. Wait a minute. First, they were founded in France, of course. Declared war on France, and France declared war. Neither way, the UK won and got all left side of Canada, and then, then they. Started expanding more than Canada after some time became a colony in its own country. They also fought the U.S. once, was still owned by the U.K. over some islands on the right side of the world. Um, whose parents? What is the other one? Um, got, got, got founded. Fire up a scuff means hungry, but something so you want something to eat. Okay. Well, there's definitely got some different slangs. I get it, um, which we're not used to over here. Yeah, definitely some slangs there, Bill. Here's my thing. All right. Let's see if I'm done with this. Huh? I'm going to make that straight because of the screws making it crooked. I'm going to make sure you put the screws in it straight. Straight. Took you two. Well, I think we have a longer history than two days. I was going to say, I think that Canada's been, there, you know, uh, around for a while. So two days of learning, I think we have more history than two days. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, Bill. I thought, oh, I thought that was kind of funny. No, but I'm thinking two days to, to learn of Canada is like, then we might, might not have too much of history if it takes two days. That's, that's funny. No, I just read fast. Okay. No, I don't want to get the. Let's, let's take, I'm trying to work on this side, but I don't want to break my bugs. So let's see if I can do that. All right. I, uh, I've been since the wars have gone. A lot of us, yes, and I forgot. In the U.S. Independence War, the Canadian fight over the, them, over them. So there is the history of Canada. Well, the United States has, we all have history. We're the newer country, so we probably have the least history of, of England for sure has a lot. Of, and the United States has been around for a while too. <laughs> so, um I would say we're like you're, you're not bad what you're saying. Yeah, he does. He does absolutely does. Yep. He absolutely does, Bill. I agree. He's it's pretty cool that he can understand English that well. Plus, um, who? Oh, I shouldn't do that. But. So they were, oh, England has a big history. England has history with all wars all over the place. They're involved with everything. They have quite the history more than we do. But, uh, Uh, I mean, the history is kind of a dark when you're going to either you know 
what I'm talking about, Bill. Wink, wink, what? I mean, the history is kind of dark when you're going to 1872. <laughs> well, I guess he's winking at you. I know, but it was gruesome. Yes. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. I I would like to know the good things. You would know a lot about war and all that stuff. I bet you, you for a young man, you've probably seen some of this. Um, and it's kind of scary. I kind of, that's why I don't travel. I only travel to countries that are pretty safe. I would never go to countries that are not safe. Yeah. A lot of hard times, that's for sure. Even over the limits with some young people, right? So any country. Okay. Bill ask him. Let's do all right. How about Switzerland? What do you know about Switzerland? What do you know about Switzerland? Is it a safe place to travel? Tell me about Switzerland then. And how about what else could I say? What else do I want to go to? Well, I, I just think it was part of France, and then they just got, you know, and then you, you know, neutral. Yeah, Aust oh yeah, that's top on my list too. Definitely, Bill. Australia is in all my list always, yeah. Absolutely. <sighs> so is is the one of the safest countries? Yes, that's what I understand. It's pretty. It's neutral and it's pretty safe. Uh, I would love to go to Australia. What do you know about Australia? Well, I know some things about Australia. That is one of my favorite countries that I want to go visit. Um, I've been saying that for a long, long time. I wanted to actually go diving there. Uh, there. Oh, well, you know what's not neutral about Switzerland? Okay, what's not neutral about Switzerland? Oh.
Women didn't, well, that's probably makes sense. That's happened all over the place. Women didn't get the right to vote until 1910 or 1920. Oh, didn't get the right rights to fight back or, oh, didn't get the right to face masks. They were literally the last country to allow women to do what they want, just like men. Oh, interesting. So, so there's something that they don't give you or tell you. Oh, there still is. He should know that if he's from Iran and that the Middle East is bad for that. Actually, they kill women for talking back. The Middle East is known for that, but they're not good with, with it. It's getting better, but yeah, women are very low on the list in the Middle East. Well, that's probably worse than Switzerland. Uh, I'm just, yeah, but there's, I think what we're trying to tell you, buddy man, is in the Middle East, I don't think women still have rights to do that. There's lots of things that women don't have a right to do in the Middle East. And it's more than just voting. I ran, well, I think they were on the 10th list. I mean, they don't, I mean, they don't kill their own women. Yeah, that's why I don't get it. I don't talk too much about politics because it ends up, uh, that causes a lot of trouble sometimes when you get too much into politics. No, I, we're talking with you about it, but I don't, it's a touchy thing that I won't get too deep into it. Because that's what, what causes lots of wars and arguments is politics, that's for sure. Yeah, I, I, I get it, I say. It's all good. Do you like politics or, or, or not politics, but well, I don't know if you like politics or do you like, you like, is it geography, history, history, all of them, right? Politics, geography, history, all of that stuff. Do you like that stuff? You like, okay. Well, you like history, geography, and you must like, poli you like politics? Other people like some people like I don't like what like politics is at my age, no thanks, but some people do, they like that. Some people like politics. Bill, do you like politics? It's not my thing. <laughs> not at all. Yeah, I hear you. I mean, if he d does, we can talk about stuff. I mean, if he does, he, we can talk about stuff. N now I can't be bought. Yeah, it's just too much. It's too much stupidity. Uh, and it's like a soap opera. I agree. Politics get very soap opera, clingy, uh, favorites, whatever, all kinds of crap like that. 
Absolutely. Hey, I know what. I'm going to change the subject to, uh, well, there's infinite stuff that can't not be done. Uh, one, love. Everyone should have peace, I think. Everyone, brother and sister, no matter of where you're from, what you look like and what you eat, we all the same. Yeah? Amen to that. Hey, Bill, speaking of eating, when are you going to do the sourdough? <laughs> I'm going to tease you on that. I'm going to tease you, Bill, because, well, you deserve it. You got me making that sourdough, and I should be on your case about it because we were supposed to, you were supposed to get it done, and we could do stuff together. But are we still going to, I'm just teasing you, and are we still going to do some cooking? You still want to do something like that like me and Misha are doing? You still up for that or, or no? Well, sometimes it's safer. To, it's not like that. That's what we like. We like peace and harmony. And it's not like that funny man. And that's why we don't do politics. So it's okay. We, there's all kinds of things to talk about. Okay. Oh, my. And I, I tried twice. I messed it up once. And the second time I forgot it totally. So, um, but I will, but Nana, I got to say, I will try it again. Okay. And yeah, I will. Do that with you and me. Okay. And again, till I, you're going to get it right. I don't know. I, I don't have the nerve to do this again by hand. You know, it's all on, it's day one to 12 or whatever on my channel. I don't think I have the hurt to do that again. That's three times I've done it. And I don't think I want to do it again. Um, but it's there. You can watch it every day. You can follow it along if you wanted to. How I did it. <laughs> you know, start day one. No, I will watch the videos again. Like, you don't have to watch it. I'm not trying to promote that. But, Bill, if you did, then you know that I, I did everything right, that I end up with bread. So you go step by step and watch more of your videos. Oh, you do? Well, you don't have to. I'm not, I'm really not trying to make you watch the videos, Bill. I'm just saying that I think that was one of my best ones where, step by step how I teach you if you actually follow through each step every day and that and just go through the main parts you don't have to watch all the got the yapping just because I try to keep it down to like a half an hour I think I wanted even less than that and you just take out where, where I started yeah um I want you must seem a big fan I don't think Bill's we're friends he's not a big fan and we, I was showing him, he kind of said we should make sourdough bread. He really wanted to learn how to make it. I think the one I watched the most was the cinnamon apple fritted bread. Oh, yeah, because you 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 made it and you loved it. And you said there was an error, so we fixed it. But that other sourdough one is like, I don't know. I don't, I, I think I think it's helpful if you, you did it because you got to do it every day. Every time I made it, I wash it. Yeah, but I also do different foods. Oh, you do? You like to cook? So, yeah. You should see the English muffins. Oh, God, they're so good. I Did I show you the English muffins I made from doing sourdough? I didn't make a live stream on it because it takes two days to do it. But um, the English muffins are really good. That, did I show you them already, Bill? I got, I, I'm in the freezer. When I start getting low, then I start uh, making more. Well, I, uh, it would be cool to, get, um, I do steak and some other foods like pasta, lasagna, and pancakes, and a lot more. So you cook a lot at 14, do you? Because I think he's not, he's not talking about he's doing, um, oh, yeah? 
I think Bill has asked you to do like Middle Eastern dishes, but um, I think that's what he's asking you. But he's saying I do steak and pasta and lasagna and pancakes and a lot more. But he, I think he was talking about if you did any Middle, Middle Eastern dishes. <clears throat> Hi, Cliff. I'm interested. No, he's he's asking. Bill wants to do stuff you do. Hi, Cliff. Hope you're good out there. Say hi to the whole family. Say hi to, to Cindy, Susie, Sus, your mama, Susan. I bet they're crazy hot, and man, their spices are crazy hot, but some of the stuff is, I've eaten all kinds of different foods, and some of them is awesome, but I can't handle spice anymore. I, I can, because there's lots of spice in different dishes, and I had Indian food, and Indian food can be, they use a lot of, what's, um, they use, they use some hot spices to it, the Indian food, and I'm trying to think of what, curry, that's what you said, right? Curry? Yeah, curry. That's it. Yeah. I gotta let this sit up and dry. It's the only way it's gonna dry and I can spray it tomorrow. Do like this. Okay, I can do squirrels. I'm sure you can do that, Bill. It's easy. Just keep it on the grill and watch it to eat, to each minute. But the lamb. My God, it's so freaking good. I can tell you my famous screwers. He's got a, he got a famous screwers. Um, anyways, Cliff, Cliff, how are you doing anyways? I know you're in the background there. You're getting tired? I'm getting actually tired. I'm probably going to call it quits pretty soon too because I got things to do tomorrow. <sighs> yeah. I will. So, anyways, Bill, we will get together. Let's me and Misha are gonna do something. Then um, you want to jump in? You go. You you tell us when you're jumping in, and and if not, then I'll see if I'm doing something else with Misha. Um, whatever. We'll see. We'll see how this works out, and then do something else later too. And then I can do something after. Your game. We'll have to come up with what you feel like doing. We can all do it. You're okay, yeah? So the English muffins is kind of what you're going to love. If you, like the bread is awesome for sourdough, but so the English muffins are a really good recipe. That one's a nice one. I didn't do that on uh, a live yet. And I might, I might do the English muffins because I'm doing a lot of them anyways. Uh, you put four pieces of meat, two pieces of tomato, and two pieces of lettuce, and then you just put some salt and cayenne pepper, and they then cook it. Uh, don't forget to watch each side a minute. Nice. I don't know. She, I don't think she has a miniature waffle maker. Um, Why well, you want to do something with waffles? That sounds good. Yeah. You want to do something with the little waffles I was saying? Me personally, I would like, yeah, you like medium diet. It would be easy. Yeah, but we're talking about we have to, you got to come up with something. Either. I don't know what works on a waffle. I tried actually making, putting cake mix on it and it didn't go very good. Um, so I don't know. They, they say you can do all kinds of stuff on the bigger waffles. I don't know about the little ones. So I'm be, be interested to see. I don't know. I don't have anything planned on it or besides pancakes, what to do or waffles. I mean, I like to show. Oh, uh, did it work? I tried an egg mixture with so it worked. Did it? I was in. I was wondering if it worked. It didn't stick to the pan. Like, because it, it would fit maybe a lucky one egg, I bet. 
one egg. It took it took it to put it on a bun with you put took oh yeah, but it did it, it cooked good. No, I sprayed it okay. So you sprayed it with the pan, then you poured the egg on it, right? And then closed the lid. And it took one egg. Put the so, but what did you scramble the egg? Put the egg with the grated cheese in the waffle maker, and bam, that's hilarious. I said I was going to try egg because I never did it before. I wondered if it worked with it. And I also want to try mashed potatoes, or you can buy those little potato things. Okay, I pre mixed the, the egg and grated cheese. Okay, and it didn't stick to the waffle maker. I'm going to try it though, Bill. I'm going to. Fool around, see what you can do with the waffle baker. <sighs> also, I think those little potato puffs, you're supposed to be able to take a potato puff, those little frozen potatoes, and put them on a flat on a grill and see if that works. Um, let's see, I can pour it on the grill. Gotcha. You, you're supposed to, there's those little potato things you can get, and you're supposed to put, and I also. And also cinnamon buns on there. And also cinnamon buns to be amazing cinnamon buns. Hmm. For my waffles, I like to make them squishy and feel like hotcakes after I get. I like to put some small amount of sweet stuff on there from there. Okay, that's cool. I don't know about making cinnamon buns on a waffle maker. I don't know about that, Bill. I don't know. I'm sure there's different things people all fooled around with it. Uh, put some blueberries on. There are some blueberry yogurt on top of the waffle. And if you were going extra, put some Nutella. Yeah, I don't like Nutella. Not really. I've eaten it, but I'm not a big fan of it. It's a, it really, oh, there's a cinnamon bun waffle. It's a thing. Okay. I'll have to look it up one time. We'll see. Yeah. Well, anyways, I'm going to wish you guys, thank you for joining me and talking you guys, you know, um, Bill, funny man, um, and Misha and that, I think I'm going to hit the road and go to bed. He said, no, don't go. <laughs> Uh, we made it to at school, so we oh yeah we put some blueberries on there with some. That sounds good. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll meet up, you guys. You know, obviously, funny man knows when I come on this late, but t tomorrow's is three p.m., so it's a lot earlier tomorrow. Um, so hopefully, some people will join us when me and Misha cook together those pies. So. Until then, I'll see if you guys are here. 3 p.m. Eastern Standard there, funny man. I think you might be in school. I don't know. Oh, no, you're out of school. Oops. I look this dry. If you're not, it's okay, Bill. Don't worry about it. Um, I told Misha, the worst scenarios, me and her will be the only two there. So don't get all nervous about it because um, we might be the only two there. Yeah, but I can't. Yeah, no, no. It's okay, Bill. Don't worry about it. If it's if if no one's there, it's all right. It's still good. Me and Misha will cook together, and we'll see how it works, and we can do it more often. No, I don't forget. It's yeah, but you know when three p.m. Eastern Standard Time is our time, Canadian time. You have to know understand the difference. You probably do though, because like right now it's ten ten o five p.m. for me, and tomorrow will be three p.m. Okay. All right. Thank you guys. I'll take care. I'm going to bed now. So I'll see you tomorrow. If you, you join me, if not, that's okay. No guilt. It's all good. All right. Funny man. Thank you. Take care. Bye.